Hello and welcome everyone. In this video I will be making the Predator Jungle Hunter diorama. I will be covering all the steps to get to this finished result. As the base for the diorama, I will be using this natural wood slice. On top of this, I will be placing some high density foam. I marked out the shape and then cut the foam using a hot wire cutter. Using a hobby knife I roughen the edges of the foam base. A few areas of depth are then created using a small hobby blowtorch. To give the base a solid undercoat I have used a mixture of these gesso primers. As the next step, I will be adding some of this cork scatter material onto the sides. I'm adding a generous amount of PVA glue and then cover the sides of the base with this material. The top of the base is then also covered in glue, followed with some fine sand and tile grout. I may have an obsession with food, but I actually think it looks kind of delicious at this stage. A bit like a vanilla mocha cake with a crunchy side. To seal this all in, the base is then sprinkled with some alcohol to break the surface tension and after this a coating of scenery glue. When the glue had fully dried, I've added a layer of raw umber acrylic paint. Some black wash is then used to create a few shadows on the side. At this stage I will begin making the trees for the base. For the base armature I am using these natural branches which I have pinned onto some spare bits of foam. To make the lower side of the trees I am adding some air drying modeling clay. Using a bit of water and some sculpting tools, I model them into shape. I'm then using these fine dried branches and pin them onto the tree trunks. I've decided not to make a top canopy for these trees, as the figure I will be using is quite large. To add a bit of texture over this, I'm applying a layer of fiber paste using an old and worn out brush. With 
with the base three armatures done, I'll then be starting on the detail work. Using some rolled out epoxy putty, I'm creating some tiny mushrooms to add to the trees. I like to use a bit of beeswax on the tools I'm using, as this helps with the stickiness of the putty. I've then used some of the leftover green stuff and attached it onto a few strips of florist wire. I'll then be attaching this other type of green stuff onto them, creating this green split pea shroom. The first batch of mushrooms is then added onto the trees. I start painting the trees by adding a layer of black primer followed by a light dusting of grey primer. For the base coat I'll be using this Tamiya XF72 also known as brown yggdzv. This is then followed by a few green and brown tones. As the next step, an oil wash is applied to create some shadow colors. To create some lichen onto the trees, I'm using a mix of pigment powder and some matte varnish. This is then splattered randomly onto some areas of the tree bark. Using a few reddish brown tones, I then painted the mushrooms. After base coating them, I gave them a dry brush followed by a wash. To make a few patches of moss, I apply some PVA glue and then sprinkle some fine turf and ground herbs over it. As the next step, I'll be creating some hanging vines for the trees. I start by making a mixture of PVA glue, water and some acrylic washes. Using this stringy material, I soak it into the glue mixture and then hang it on the branches. To add a bit of counterweight and make them hang straight down, I've used a few washing pins. A bit of greenery is then added onto the vines by gluing on some of these model ivy leaves. To make the foliage for the branches, I've used this sea foam material and then glued on a layer of fine turf and model leaves. When finished, these are then added onto the branches. For some variation, I also added a few bits of these preserved plants here and there.
With the trees finished, I'll then be making a few jungle plants. The main ingredient will be these natural leaves, which didn't have a stem, so I made those by gluing on some florist wire. Having constructed the plants, I then prime them and follow this up with a few green and yellow tones. As the next step, I'll be making the ground cover. In preparation for a later step, I grind up some of the leaves I used earlier. I then make a mixture of acrylic paste, paint and some sand. This is then applied onto the base. At this stage I also added the trees onto the base. For the centerpiece of this diorama I'm using this Predator Jungle Hunter figure. This was an unpainted resin model kit that came with a scenic base and two head varieties. I tried speed painting it, which took me about 3 weeks to try and match the paint scheme from the movie. I magnetized the feet, as well as the heads, so I can remove it from the base and swap out the heads. I then work the scenic base into the diorama using some of the paste mixture. The leftover from this mixture is then diluted with some water and then the rest of the ingredients are added. The ground cover mixture is then added onto the base. To simulate some roots on the side of the base, I then added some roots on the side of the base. As the next step, I attached the diorama to the wooden base. It was then time to add the pea shrooms onto the base. To decorate the base a bit more, I've added a few preserved plants here and there. A 
A few drops of scenery glue are then added to secure them in. At this stage I also added the plants we made earlier. To make a few splashes of green blood, I'm using Tamiya Clear Green and then mix a bit of yellow into it. And as the final step, the predator can now enter its new hunting ground. That brings us to the end of this video. I really hope you've enjoyed watching it and to see you in the next one. If you want to help support the channel, please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. I would love to have you on board. As always, thank you for watching and take care.